What's up guys, this is Yasa, welcome back to my channel, you're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'll be talking about top 15 summer fragrances that are great for getting compliments, okay? So a few of them I've already covered in the top 15 beast fragrances for 2022 summers which are also great compliment getters like of Swiss Cerebin Shock, there is Afnan Not Only Intense, Club Dini Intense Pure Parfum. There is Swiss Arabian Pure Instinct, which I recently tried in 2021. That also is a great fragrance. But since I've covered it in the East Mode summer list for 2022, I would not really cover it in this list so that you get ideas of different available fragrance in the market for 2022, but you can still try them as well. Before I start with the 15 list for 2022, most complimenting summer fragrance, I'll also give you reminders of complimenting summer fragrance which I have covered previously in my channel. So I do not really want to repeat them. Some of them are just to give you reminders. Dylan Blue by Versace. There is Mansara Sidret Boise. There is Mansara Lemon Lime which is a beautiful juicy citrus lemon sort of fragrance. There is Aqua di Gio Profumo, Aqua di Gio Absolu as well. There is Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction or you can even try Versace Eau Fresh which is a similar blend and there is Arm of Hunter Intense as well. All these are great compliment getters but since I've already covered them multiple times in my channel I did not really want to place it in the 2022 most complimenting summer list. So at number 15 for the 2022 most complimenting summer list this is actually a discontinued fragrance but I recently found it just a miniature that is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Bou, okay. This is a 10 ml miniature spray version. This is how the miniature box comes, but this is how the full bottle looks like. Since it is discontinued and not that easily available, I could not really place it in the top of the list. So I had to place it at number 15. But in case you get your chance, and if you like Jean Paul Gaultier Le Male and also like Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, this is a beautiful mix of the two. For those who do not like Ultra Male because it is too sweet on the vanilla, but you still like Le Male with some slight twist and changes and that complementing factor that you get in Ultra Male. This is a perfect mix of the two guys. Perfect mix of Le Male and Ultra Male with toned down sweetness from the vanilla. But otherwise a great fragrance and easy to get compliments. At number 14 is another discontinued fragrance. This was a great compliment getter back in 2012 and I luckily got this one that is Escada Sentiments. Okay. Escada sentiment. You cannot really find this these days. Luckily, I found it. In case you're interested in trying, you can contact the seller in the video description box. I was introduced to this by my cousin who says that a stranger used to compliment him in the gym, who is a girl, obviously. And this was back in 2012 when he used to go to the gym and he says that this is one of his most memorable fragrance because even stranger who are girls used to compliment him in the gym okay escada sentiment this is a very nice red berry sort of fragrance with a touch of that dior savage vibe and i'm really surprised that back in 2012 you had such a crowd pleasing complimenting sort of fragrance which nobody talks about this is not great in terms of projection it has a very mild projection but it still stays on my clothes for 11 to 12 hours which is very very mild guys very very mild i can still sense it on my clothes but very very mild First two hours, it's kind of evident, but it mellows down and goes as a skin scent very, very soon. So red berries with the Dior Sauvage vibe and a cedar wood and musk base. Beautiful fragrance. If you get your chance, definitely try it, but do not hope any great projection with this one. This is more of a skin scent after two hours and it is great for indoors and great for close encounters. Escada sentiment at number 14. I placed it at number 14 because it is discontinued, very hard to find, but compliment factor is very, very high on that one. Another one which is also kind of discontinued now, that is Armani Code Sport. Okay, this is probably my fourth bottle. This is also a very old release back in 2010 and 2012 during that. This is a 2016 bottle. This is my fourth bottle from the Armani Code Sport. Okay. There's a slight difference between the two. The first three bottles that I owned was Armani Sport Code which was a matte finish bottle. This one in the transparent bottle says Armani Coat Sport. Blend is overall more or less similar. You get very similar vibe, but the 2016 version, which is this, has a rosemary added to it, okay? But overall, you cannot really make a lot of difference. If you still love the matte finish bottle 
and you want to own that for your memory if you have tried it in the past you can still try this one but not that this one is also available so easily but since this was the last release of the sport code series you can still try this one i bought this very recently maybe few months back because i had memories with armani sport code because that used to give me good amount of compliments back in the days in case I missed to mention what kind of blend it is, this is again a citrus mint based fragrance, but this one has a rosemary note added to it. At number 12 is CK Shock. Okay, not heavy in terms of projection or performance, but it still acts like a good skin scent and lasts about six hours on clothes. Okay, not great in terms of performance, but it still gets you compliments. Close encounters indoors is where you can get more chances of compliments. My wife still loves this one. She says she gets nostalgic feeling about her classmates when she used to go to college and some guys used to wear it and she used to like it back then as well. She still loves this one. Not great in terms of projection, but a great masculine fragrance for the summers. Very nice cucumber, lavender and cardamom opening. And in the base, you get hints of leather and tobacco along with musk. Okay. None of the notes are overly prominent but it is a perfect blend of all these notes and makes it smell really masculine and stylish. CK Shock by Calvin Klein. At number 11 is Jenny Glow Blackberry Bay by Sterling Perfumes. Beautiful blackberry and bay leaf sort of fragrance. Very nice for the summers. Doesn't have a heavy performance. It gives me like five to six hours of it has a heavy compliment factor. Okay, especially when you try it indoors. It gives that feel of that luxury hotels vibe, the aroma that you get in luxury hotels. Blackberry and bay leaf, just like the name. Beautiful fragrance, easy to get compliments. At number 10, Polo Sport by Ralph Lauren. I've done a separate review on this one as well. This has a very nice old memory for me. Back in the days when I was in 12th standard, my uncle used to own it. This was somewhere back in 2002. And this gave me the first compliment of my life with the design of fragrance. And that's why I recently got this again. This again is kind of discontinued, not that easily found, or maybe low in supply, because in some places you still get it. This was a tester box, which is a 125 ml box, and I got it for just 3000 bucks, guys. Not heavy on performance, but it still gives me seven hours on my clothes, but it is very easy to get compliments, especially from women. My wife still loves this. She rated this an 8.75, but the memory I had with this one in 12th standard, back in 2002 in the high summer heat when i came home for lunch i just sprayed like seven to eight sprays after my lunch and walked back to my college which is about 20 minutes walk outdoors in the high summer heat and as soon as i reached my college when i was about to enter my class two of my classmates who are girls they immediately said wow you smell so nice what fragrance are you wearing and that's the memory I had with this one, okay? Right. Great fragrance, mint, aldehyde and citrus opening along with cedar wood, guac wood and musk in the base. Very soft, the mint and aldehyde is kind of more prominent in the opening, but fantastic fragrance. If you want compliments from women, you want to attract women in the close encounters for the summers, this is still a great choice. 1994 release, but it still smells modern, okay? Nothing outdated about this. At number nine, Jenny Glow Wood Sage and Salt. Not many talk about this, but those who have tried this, they are really crazy about this one. Beautiful citrus and sage note to give it that spite, sinus, and it also has that sea salty vibe along with ambroxan. The ambroxan really helps the fragrance to push itself and project itself better. I get easy seven to eight hours on this. Some people even say they get 10 plus hours on this one, which I'm not really surprised because Embroxen has that character, but I easily get eight hours on my clothes. Beautiful, fresh fragrance, citrus, sage, woody accord, the sea salty vibe along with Embroxen. Very nice, definitely. You should try if you like that kind of blend. Number eight is Bulgari Marine, or you can try Bulgari Atlantic as well. Both gives me compliments, though. This one gives me slightly more compliments and is my personal favorite as well. But this one also gives me compliments. Just like the bottle, both of these have this aquatic vibe. This one, to some noses, say that they get egg smell, fish smell, which I do understand because when it was initially released and when my nose was not that matured, I also used to get a fish sort of vibe when you smell it up close. I don't really get that now. Maybe because my nose is matured and used to all these aquatic sea note sort of fragrance but otherwise if you're a beginner you may not like this one so do not blind by this one test it but it does give you compliment when it projects in the air 
great fresh fragrance has that aquatic sea note vibe along with green marine sort of green plants which you see under the sea okay the atlantic has more of the blue vibe has a little bit more sweetness to that ambroxan note along with that aquatic sea notes both are great fragrance this is my personal favorite compared to this one but both gives me great compliments guys at number seven is from a niche brand that is Wulong Sha okay beautiful tea note sort of fragrance along with citrus that citrus is so sparkling in the air that it easily projects just with four sprays it easily projects if you're indoors even in the third and fourth hour for about three to four feet Nishane has this beast performance character most of them this also has a beast mode character beautiful citrus and tea leaf sort of fragrance some also say there is a fig note which I don't really pick up. For me, the tea note is the most evident along with that juicy citrus, sparkling citrus vibe. Great fragrance for the summers. I get 8 to 9 hours on this one. Some even say they get 10 to 12 hours as well. But I personally get 8 to 9 hours with this one. But projects really heavy in the first 3 to 4 hours. At number 6 is Hermes H24. Very new release from Hermes. Okay, this is how the box comes. Very new release from Hermes and this is on the fresher side. It has some new sort of chemical compound which gives a slight metallic touch to it along with a beautiful citrus and sage note. Now when I say metallic doesn't smell like it smells cheap okay. It smells very modern, doesn't smell cheap in any sort at least to my nose but it doesn't smell natural as well. That metallic note is definitely synthetic but not in a bad way. Synthetic I mean artificially created not in a bad way. Supported by a very nice citrus and sage spiciness and the base is what helps this fragrance to push itself for a really good time. The base has this rosewood which kind of smells very similar to cedarwood but has that nice rose flowery touch to it without making it like a typical women's rose fragrance. Very nice modernized summer fresh scent. You definitely have to try this if you want slightly different fresh fragrance. Aramis H24 projects really nice two to three hours easy to get compliments as well I do get compliments in the first two to three hours when I wear this but it still goes for about nine to ten hours okay now at number five top five from the top 15 when it comes to compliments not emphasizing on the performance because I've done a separate review on that I'm emphasizing on the compliment factor and at number five is Pandora Y Beyond which is a very nice clone of Isoloro Y Eau de Parfum but that Eau de Parfum Y from Isoloro Y lasts only for about 30 minutes and then it goes into the EDT Y because the sage kind of mellows down and weakens after 30 minutes and then it goes into the EDT Y. You can also try Latafa Fakar but the reason why I'm placing only this or counting this in today's list is if you want the typical Y EDP feel from all of its clones this was the clone that went closest to the EDP Y from Ysoloron, okay, Y beyond, and you can also see the bottle design, which is quite close. But since this also goes into the EDT Y, you can either choose Latafa Fakar or Y beyond, because I'm not sure if this is still available. So you can still go with Latafa Fakar. Both are great fragrances. Both last decent six to seven hours. Both are cheap as well. You still get both for about 1,500. Beautiful green apple, sage, and a bit of citrus with a nice soft woody base. Great fragrance, easy to get compliments. At number four is from Paco Rabanne Ultra Red Man. Some say this is discontinued, but I still see this coming on and off. Okay, this is not a typical daytime summer fragrance, but it still suits well in the summer evenings and night times. Very beautiful orange supported by a watery sort of vanilla. Usually vanilla notes are more suitable for winters, but there is this watery kind of vanilla along with orange which makes it suit for the summers as well now along with watery vanilla you get a nice praline and tonka sweetness as well which is not too sweet like how the winter fragrances come and that's why i'm saying you can still try this in the summer evening times that is ultra red man beautiful fragrance easy to get compliments as well as that nice gourmand sort of orange summer vibe performs really good i get like 10 to 11 hours on my clothes but it is not a heavy projector after two hours but for the first two hours it still projects for about two feet number three is Ysoloron Loam okay a beautiful juicy citrus along with a very nice ginger with hints of cardamom vibe okay fantastic blend my wife rates this a 9 on 10 blend wise but don't expect any heavy performance with this one I get only like five to six hours on my clothes on my clothes 
five to six hours. I don't sense this for more than that. But blend wise, quality wise, this is fantastic. Great for close encounters because women really love this one. Loam from Yeselaro and it goes easily in the summer daytime when it is very sweaty so that your sweat blends well with your fragrance and it performs slightly better with the heat, okay? But if you want something similar and slightly more pushy on the performance, for the evenings or night times, you can also try Yeselaron Loam Ultime, okay? This also has a similar vibe to this but it has an added hint of rose. Some people say they don't sense the rose at all, but I can easily pick up the nose right from the nozzle, guys. The rose here is not like the typical jammy, sweet women's fragrance rose. It is a bit different. It goes very nice with the citrus and it goes very nice with the summers as well. And that's why I'm saying you can still pull this off in the summer evenings or night times. That is Ultime by Isoloron. This again is discontinued is what I heard, but if you get your chance, and if you like that nice citrus ginger along with hints of rose, you can still try this one. This one gives me seven to eight hours on my clothes. This five to six hours, okay? This perfectly suits for the daytime. This perfectly suits for the evenings and nighttime. You can choose based on what you prefer. At number two, a very new release from Afnan that is Turati Blue. A beautiful mix of Blue de Chanel and Bulgari Tiger. Very nice juicy citrus, but it has its own twist and turn because Afnan is a Middle Eastern brand. So you get some sort of blackcurrant vibe along with that Blue de Chanel, which makes it slightly different from Blue de Chanel because Blue de Chanel has a more prominent melon and sandalwood, which I don't really get in this one, but it will definitely remind you of Blue de Chanel if you own Blue de Chanel, okay? Along with that blackcurrant, which I mentioned, I also get some hints of rose, which I'm not really sure because blackcurrant and rose is not really listed in the official notes. But that's something which I sensed because Afnan not only intense has that same blackcurrant vibe, which I get in this one. And this also has that slight rosy touch to it, which I get in Loam Ultim. And that's why I felt that there is some chemical compound which is used in this one, which gives the feel of blackcurrant and that hint of rose note as well. Obviously, most fragrances don't really use natural ingredients, so these artificial chemical compounds can give you a different sort of vibes to different noses because they are not natural. When it comes to compliments, this definitely has a very attractive character. Mix of Blue de Chanel and Bulgari Tiger. Bulgari Tiger is more of citrus and ambroxan. It also has the same vibe in the base note. So it's a beautiful mixer of Blue de Chanel and Bulgari Tiger. Now, if you do not want that Blue de Chanel vibe, if you want a perfect clone of Bulgari Tiger, you can also try another brand from Dubai and that is called Oxor, it's named as Black Tiger, okay? This is a perfect clone of Bulgari Tiger. This is a mix of Blue de Chanel and Bulgari Tiger. So if you're looking for something that is a perfect and a great quality clone of Bulgari Tiger, you have to try this one, guys. This is at least an UA brand and you only get it in one website currently, which I'll mention in the video description box. I'll do a full review of this one because there's another fragrance as well, which I have from this brand. So I'll do a separate review on both, a full-fledged review. But if you want a perfect clone of Bulgari Tiger, a very nice citrus and ambroxan and very nice soft woods in the base. Fantastic fragrance, easy to get compliments, very attractive sort of summer fragrance. This projects even in the 10th hour, like very airy, okay? Something like Swiss Arabian Pure Instinct. It can make you go nose blind very soon, but it still performs 11 to 12 hours. I cannot really call this as a beast because even in the first two hours, it does not project anything heavy, but it really pushes itself for 11 to 12 hours with that airy sort of ambroxan character. Now, if you do not like ambroxan note, because some people are allergic to ambroxan note, so I would not really recommend because this is more prominent on the citrus and ambroxan note with that nice soft woody vibe. Black Tiger by Oxa Perfumes. If you are looking for a perfect, great quality Bulgari Tiger clone, this costs like 7,000 in the website, but there are currently discounts running in, which will give you an 80 ml for 5,000. Bulgari Tiger is like 18,000, guys. If you like Bulgari Tiger, I would highly recommend that you skip that and get this one because for 18,000 Bulgari Tiger is not worth at all, at least in my opinion. I'm sorry if somebody owns it and feels that it's a great fragrance, great value for money. I don't really feel it's a great value for money, but it's a great summer fragrance. At number one from Parfums de Mali, Green Lee. Okay, this is also overpriced, but when it comes to compliments, my God, my wife reads this. A nine plus, okay? A very beautiful green apple and cardamom scent. I won't say this is completely unique, but I don't really see 
a perfect blended summer fragrance in the cheapies as well. This costs like 15,000 for a retail box and 13,000 for a tester box. It is definitely not that worth for that price, okay? Definitely not that worth for the price. But if you have the money and you want a very beautiful summer fragrance, which is not complex and easy to get compliments, you can still try this one. That is green leaf, beautiful green apple and cardamom fragrance and a beautiful musk and cedarwood base. Simple composition, but smells very rich and high quality, especially in the air. Easy to get compliments. It's a lady killer, no doubt, okay? It's not just my wife who loved this one. I showed it to my cousin and his wife as well. Both loved this a lot. If you are into fresh type of fragrance, easy to get compliments sort of fragrance, very classy, attractive sort of man for the ladies, you have to try this one, guys. Green Lee by Perform de Marley. Because usually high price goes for complexity of the fragrance and something that is creative. I don't see anything creative, but it is definitely very attractive fragrance from Parfums de Marley. At number one would be Green Lee for this year because this is a very new release. I think it deserves that place as the most complimenting summer fragrance for 2022. So that's about it. Let me know in case you've tried any of these. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Cheers.